The Democrat running for South Dakota's lone U.S. House seat is a newcomer to politics who says he'll be an independent voice in Congress. Kellowlands Perry Groton has the latest in our series of candidate profiles introducing us to Tim Bjorkman. Well, Brady, Bjorkman is running against Republican Dusty Johnson, Libertarian George Hendrickson, and Independent Ron Wazorek for U.S. House. Yorkman sees his lack of political experience as a plus in this race because he says South Dakotans are looking for an authentic representative who's not tied to party politics. Tim Bjorkman says his experience as a circuit court judge has uniquely prepared him to serve in the U.S. Congress. And my duty there was to listen to the facts and do the right thing as far as I knew it without regard to who the parties were. Yorkman says he'll bring that judicial impartiality to help bridge the deep political divide in Washington. Because you know what? We Republicans and Democrats and independents too, we're not adversaries. We've gotten way off track. To Bjorkman, much of the political dysfunction in Washington has been fueled by outside money pouring into campaigns. I don't see Dusty even as my opponent in the, in the race. My opponent is the, is the special interest in the big party bosses in Washington who want to control our congressmen and women. A key pillar of Bjorkman's campaign has been to refuse any PAC donations as well as money from the National Democratic Party. Uh, Dusty's checked all through my records and they didn't find a dime of it. If they had, they would have let us know. If elected, Bjorkman says he'll work to get a farm bill passed, improve access to health care, and address the growing federal deficit. We're spending $4 trillion a year, and we're taking in $3 trillion. Um, I'd say they're spending like drunken sailors, but that would be an insult to the drunken sailors. Bjorkman acknowledges that name recognition has been a challenge in his campaign, but he says as more voters get to know him, they'll realize he's not tied to party politics. People hunger for an authentic representative of the people who will put country over political uh, careerism again. And Bjorkman grew up in Kimball and graduated from the University of South Dakota Law School in 1982. Now, throughout the rest of the week and into next week, we'll also be profiling the other three candidates for U.S. House. You can also watch our profiles of two of the gubernatorial candidates on Kelloland.com.